So good evening folks and welcome back to GNS Travels. We left you last week as we just arrived at our next stopover. It was getting late in the day and I've been putting off this job. So let's get down to it. Good evening guys. It's cooled down enough. So I'm going to attempt to fix this new waste pump underneath the van. First things first, get that bit in there. I was so relieved to hear that sound. The good thing is that it worked. Just a quick secure and then it was done. I'd had enough, it was time for bed. So I called it a night. See you in the morning, guys. Good morning. We are in Santorini Thermal Hot Springs. This is where we stayed last night. It's a very, very big parking platz. And um, it's all on the soap, unfortunately. We are right down the bottom because in order to get our van straight, so our fridge works, which is important in this weather. We've had to go right down the bottom. This is the toilet and shower block and just on my left here. It's very early, it's seven o'clock in the morning and we're up early because we want to get to the springs before the crowds descend on it. So we can get on our journey later today. There is May tucked down in there in the corner so yeah very quiet here as you can hear just the birds and the crickets this morning so, right well we'll catch up with you when we're at the springs so we've just been dropped off by the guy at the campsite this is where we're going Sandorini hot thermal springs it's a bit of it, we called it a cloudy day, but actually it's Sahara sand that's come up. So the, co the sky looks a little bit red. I don't think the camera picks it up so well. So these are the Santorini hot springs. It's a good time to go because it's quiet. There's a few people, but not that many in here, which is good. So we have got um, anti-slip shoes on. So on the bottom of the springs are these which over time have been rounded off from the pressure of the waterfall. We spent a good four or five hours at the springs and feeling very refreshed. We left our campsite and headed off. We were in the Tuscany region now and the rolling hills and greenery were beautiful. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind and I 
So after a lovely drive, we parked up, we had a lovely dinner, quick tidy up, and then we went outside to explore. So good evening folks. We are in Zipvitella Maritimia. It's a little town about 50 minutes before Florence. That's it just on the hill up there. Now in front of me here is the Sosta or parking platz we chose to stay the night but it doesn't look like it's in use. It looks like it's a bit overgrown and there's no other vans here. Um, parking is by an app. I went on the app but it didn't work but you can use the facilities and down there it's actually got a shower and a toilet. It's very weird but it's quiet so what we've done is park just behind it just there all by ourselves but a nice bit of shade we've had there all afternoon and this tells you exactly where we are we are where the beat is there right there by that picnic table in the Tuscany Valley here in the corner is a very old Cross situated, and there's Mr. D. What are you doing, Mr. D? Those ants have walked all the way from there down around here. That's a long way for look with those little legs. Bit little legs like you were there, didn't they? Yeah. So, good morning, guys. It's the 20th of June, and we're on the road. We're on the final leg of our journey to Florence. Three days ago, we left Pompeii. We've made a couple of stops since then, but now as we're nearing Florence, it's time to reflect. 458 kilometers later, we're here, arriving at a campsite just on the outskirts of Florence. We'd been recommended to stay at this campsite by a couple of fellow campervan buddies. It's called the HU Florence Camping. We decided to stay here because they run a free shuttle bus into the centre of Florence. After we had checked in, we found our pitch. Unfortunately, our van wouldn't fit on the first pitch they gave us. So it was back to reception we went and they gave us a second pitch, which was more suitable. We then settled in and chilled out for the rest of the day. Good morning, people. Hope we're all well. We arrived in Florence yesterday afternoon. Um, we literally popped up where we are and headed to the swimming pool to cool off. Um, didn't do much filming. I think we're both just uh, exhausted really from the heat. I think we've had some heat exhaustion. Now I know you guys are suffering back in the UK and um, we're not we're not complaining at all but it just after a while it gets to you i don't think we were prepared coming to italy for the heat that we've actually had to be honest but made the most of it done the washing last night and excuse the undies on the line and um it's all dried overnight so um yeah so we're we're headed into um florence today we've got a book shuttle booked for 10 o'clock and we're gonna go and investigate Florence. We're both looking forward to Florence. We've never been to Florence before. Um, so yeah, so hopefully it will be a nice day. Although um, it depends on how we get on with the heat because if it's too hot, we'll have to come back and then book an extra night here and go back in tomorrow because, you know, it's just not worth getting ill for really. So anyway, catch you later guys. Oh. Mr. D'd like to say hello first, I think, would you not? Yeah. Come out here, Mr. D. He's hiding in the van. <laughs> He's doing his good morning photos. <laughs> there you go. Good morning. Well, there he is. A nice bright morning it is today. 
<laughs> and what I'm saying is there's a nice flipping breeze where I'm standing. Yes, yeah. It's nice to so just, just stand there. <laughs> it's lovely and warm. Um, now Jill says, we're here to today, so as much as we can. And when it gets too much, you're going to come back here and lay by the pool. Not making you jealous, is it, at all? All right, we'll see you later, guys. Okay, take care. And that is where we are in this road, which is called Via Roma. So with that, we headed to the reception and boarded our free shuttle bus into the centre of Florence. The trip took about 15 minutes, which was quite enjoyable. I didn't take too long. So uh, we just got off the bus uh, in Florence and we are waiting. We come across these, there's Mrs. D waving as I photograph the um, strange looking sculptures they have here. We head across the bridge and across the river into the city. on the river bank to spot this lovely old car down there and of course the football Euros one at the moment and also the Tour de France look at it up there we're just walking along the river bank it's about 20 minutes walk into the main square in Florence from the shuttle drop off and we'll just look at the river just spotted a heron right over there and that's where we've walked from the bridge up there and that's where we're going up there so we won't bore you on the walk with our sweaty bodies <laughs> because it's hot so we'll just switch the camera off until we're in the market square guys this is Florence's National Library this is St. Croc's Church. This is Classic Street. And this one is called Via de Pepe. This is a typical Italian street called Street Tortica. So we are standing in Piazza of is St. Pierre Maggiore and it's known as the Invisible City because actually what we're standing in used to be the name of the San Pierre Maggiore, one of the city's most important churches and the church was demolished in 1784 by the Florentine government to create space for shops and a market space as you can see what we have around us. But you can see the relics there of the church and the old building and this is called the invisible city in Florence and we've just come to the cathedral here now which is massive
quick visit to the Hard Rock Cafe. GNS Travel. GNS Travel. Rock. GNS Travel. <laughs> This is the old police station here and they've got these big large wrought iron rings outside which looks like a pig's head on top but they go all the way along here so we're thinking this is where they used to tie the horses up outside the police station Okay guys, this is the fountain of Neptune. Absolutely beautiful detail in it. I would love to be in that water right now. Enjoying Florence, Mrs. Dean. Do you know? I'm surprised. Um, I wanted to come here definitely. It is really, really lovely. There's just so much to see. We can't possibly cover it in one day. No. No. And I've just said this nine, nine ninety-six. I think I said it's. I think this is the oldest. Probably the oldest bridge we've been on. Been yeah. on definitely the oldest place I've been. I think. Um, it's very busy. Lots of tourists. Just pan around. There. But yeah, lovely shot of the river behind us there. But definitely, definitely Florence is beautiful. It does it live up to its word. It is beautiful, beautiful city. It's a lovely city and one day we will return. So we've come to a little restaurant for dinner. And look at the size of that bottle of beer. It's like a wine bottle. It's massive. That's a normal tall wine glass. There's my hand. It there. had a cork in it. And it had a cork in it. It's big, it's, isn't it? And it's, <laughs> it's very nice. And it's nice. It's lovely, Good. Yeah. And I've yet to taste mine because I'm too busy filming you, Mr. D. <laughs> <laughs> but you drink it out of a wine glass. <laughs> We had such a lovely meal there and it was a perfect end to a perfect day. Florence has a lot to offer. It's definitely on a place we will revisit one day. I'm going to leave this week's vlog here. Thank you for watching and do share this with your friends and family. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up and ding that bell so you get notified when we put our next video on. Catch you next time, guys. <laughs>